And Jesus offers two things, the truth and a choice. And so the reality, here's the last thing, the reality is we have to choose. We get to choose. And here's the good news is we get what we choose. And that's what I would say back to the student who said, does, does religion offer comfort? And in some ways would say, you know, like, like C.S. Lewis, it doesn't begin by offering comfort. By, it begins by offering the cross. It begins by offering the truth and a choice. But it ends with what? It ends with knowing that we get what we choose. That if we want God, he wants us. And if I don't want God, then I get not God. If you want God, you know that he already wants you. Because there's one last character in the gospel. And he's the main character. He's the reason why we exist. Jesus has made his choice. Like again, you might be in a place where here's the truth and here's the choice. You haven't made it yet, but Jesus has made his choice. And he chose the cross. And he chose you. And he did this so that you and I might have the courage to not simply chase after a blank flag for eternity. To not simply live a life that's truly not alive. To not get to the end of our lives realizing not only do I not have comfort in death, I did not have meaning in life. 